Hey, what is up, guys? Um, as you can tell by the uh, my voice, you can tell I'm a little bit sick right now. Man, I am. But I only have about two hours to make this video because I have to go to work. But I just thought I wanted to explain something that's been like going on for a while. A little bit of like controversy in skateboarding, like why people like hate Nike and why people. I guess people don't hate vans, but like, yeah, we do. We hate vans. Okay. So let's just get this started. So last night, me and Cody went shopping around and stuff like that because I had some money. I, ever since they came out, ever since I watched his part, I've always wanted these shoes. So I finally, I got them last night and I've actually never been more satisfied with the purchase of my entire life. So I got right here, the Nyjah Freeze, <clears throat> as you can see. Super light, super durable. <clears throat> it's just, they're, they're so dope. If you guys ever get the chance to get these, get them. Because I have never been more satisfied with a purchase in my entire life. There's a, there's a smudge on them. But that's what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about core versus corporate. Let's just uh, break it down into two different aspects here. Nike is only in it for the money. They adopted skateboarding so that they could make money off of it. It's a good way to make money off of it, especially when you have elite skateboarders like Nyjah Houston and Zion Wright and all them, like, you know, like P-Rod and stuff like that. If you have elite skateboarders like that on your team, you're going to make money off of it. So, can't hate on them for that because they have elite skateboarders on their team. They obviously have to make, like, durable things like shoes to skate in because again elite skateboarders skate them and they have to like they need shoes that will stay intact i mean i'm not like trying to do a review on these shoes right now because i haven't really skated them yet but like this is super durable i've only skated it one time but right out of the box i could tell that this is going to be a really good board feeling shoe because it was a really good board feeling shoe when i was skating last night Vans, on the other hand, skateboarders adopted Vans. Uh, they made, in 1966 or something like that, they made their first, it was called the Deck Shoe, and skateboarders and surfers, not just skateboarders, skateboarders and surfers adopted that. See, but then we uh, come to 2000, I don't know when they got popular, 2015, something like that. Come to 2015, and the white checker slip-ons and the old schools they all got popular real fast by posers who are wannabe skaters so that's what's wrong with vans is that vans is making money off of people that don't actually skate and i mean like yeah i understand like well it's not it's not a skateboarding shoe it's, it's more of a style shoe okay but yeah but it says right here on the tongue world's number one skateboard shoe it's a skateboarding shoe now don't get me wrong i love vans these these were are these are my top favorite shoes ever these pink kyle walkers because not only were they durable they're still not broken i mean there's a fat hole in that one but not only were they super durable but super comfy and they were pink so somebody just got shot out there that's just what i'm saying is like people skateboarders hate on nike just that so they can hate on something because there's really nothing wrong with nike except for the fact that they're only in it for the money but if you take a step back and view it from their standpoint it's a pretty smart way to make money because especially when you have freaking skaters like Nyjah on your team, you're gonna make money. Nyjah can go out there and wear a freaking My Little Pony shirt and My Little Pony will make millions of dollars that night. He is one of the biggest skateboarding influences on this planet. So, I mean, if you have somebody like Nyjah on your team, you're gonna make money. Now behind me, I have, these are my Eric Costin 2's. These are pretty dope. Um, I've skated these uh, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 times. 
still holding up well. There's still no like scratches or nothing. There's still toe is still doing good. So yeah, skated these a couple of times. I normally like scoot in these, but I skated them a time or two. They're still durable and still holding up. But see, that's the thing between Vans and Nike SB is that this may be the more expensive shoe. I'll tell you how much I got it for. I got it for ninety four ninety. Ninety four, ninety five. This may be the more expensive shoe. This may be the least expensive shoe. This right here was sixty, I think. But this is gonna hold up longer than this. So you're paying what you're skating. You're paying for what you're skating. I just <sighs> so. If you get this, you're going to have a shoe that lasts you a long, long time. If you get this, you're getting a shoe that will last you maybe not as long as these, but a little less longer. And I can just tell right here, this one's lighter. It's like definitely this one, easy money. That one's a little heavy. If I had a guess, I'd say this is about five pounds. And this one's about... Two. Maybe. So yeah, there's a lot of controversy going on around about that in skateboarding nowadays. So I just thought I might want to clarify for the viewers. Um, they also give you free laces too. They have done to give me free laces. <clears throat> so, um... I don't really know what else to say. That only took me 15 minutes. I thought it was going to take me longer, but it didn't. Um, I don't know what to say.